Yo, what is up? So, I've actually managed to get my hands on this. It's a beta sort of test build OptiScala 9.0 Dash Pre 2. And I did actually have an invite because I did, I was trying to find a link on the Google for the Discord chat. Uh, but I, I did struggle and then I just logged into Discord and I actually did have an invite from someone. So I don't know who it was, but maybe someone's been watching my channel and they've invited me. So thank you for that, because that literally saved me a headache trying to find it. <laughs> so all I had to do was just find a link on that and uh, just download it. So, but I imagine if you can't get it yet, you will just be able to download it once it's fully, because there is some bugs with it apparently, but. There is a lot of feature. I mean, what's happened now? It's basically like a frame generation sort of update from what I can gather. So you got the OSS. So that's what I've been using to actually use make your frame generation. So it basically converts it to FSR frame generation. Then you can get multi frame gen basically. So that, that's what I've been doing. Uh, just basically it gets it to work to 3x or 4x uh, so that's what I've been using as well in certain games fake Mbappé uh, that basically I've talked about that before it just basically stabilizes some things I think it enables the reflex or any lag or whatever uh, combined with this and then you've got Intel's frame generation so this is the biggest thing now you can actually use that so I, w I will uh, run for it. So I've already installed it in this game. So you just basically do the same thing as you usually do. Just paste all the files in wherever the shipping file is. Just paste it all in there. Right. So I've loaded in. So currently I'm using... Nukem's frame gen mod, uh, which is giving me the free X make frame gen. But there are now on this build of Opticala 9.0, there are actually so many more options. So you can, uh, it used to be just this, now you've got FSR frame gen, or you've got the streamline, which is uh, limited to certain games. So you can use it on this. Um, then you can literally convert that to Intel's frame gen uh, so I would have to save that restart you can use this although I felt I didn't find that oh, again I've literally just got this app today so I'm going to have to figure a few things out but I found this to work in this game better so save that it's a bit like you usually have to apply it, restart. Right. So I did have a quick run through it before making this video. And so from what I can see is a uh, at the moment maybe frame gem won't work with uh, Intel's frame generation and you do need to make sure you're in ballless mode so as you can see it's just basically nothing this is what I'm getting just by upscaling with uh, NVIDIA using Dill SS4 so even though I've got it on it's not working and that, that is because you need to disable these motion vectors in, the, in these settings so that's one reason why I've done it uh, this video obviously to have a look at all this is now because as, as I've said this mod is amazing to me uh, I mean if I'm comparing it to make frame gen I would much rather use this because this is blowing my mind more than whatever Nvidia are doing because there's just so many options it's, it's like a control panel but you can do so much with it so that impresses me more so I would basically you need to disable that for Intel's frame gen to work. I just want to have a... Uh, right. 
Twitter to do that. To use that streamline sort of adaptation to convert it to Intel frame generation you would need. And to Optiscalus in these settings. And to save yourself looking all through it, just type in motion vectors. Enter. And that's what you need to disable. So you just type false. Say that doesn't take too long. Um, I might just disable that just to avoid any issues because I did try it and on that it didn't work. So clear expedition. I know it's not going to work anyway, so I might as well just disable that. Alright, so we load it back up. I mean, that, that works really well with AMD's frame generation. So, again, it is an early build, but I'm pretty sure that now and, uh, the developers of this Optiscaler, they're just going to probably make it work with Intel's frame generation. The, multi-frame generation I'm doing that so and then when AMD's uh, multi-frame generation comes up that's going to give us more options so uh, it is looking good for this uh, mod you're getting a lot more I, I often find the community mods are better a lot of the time anyway so and this is why I don't care about uh, just going out and investing when I can get a mod that does all this frame generation stuff anyway. I wouldn't be dropping 2k uh, for say a 5090 at the moment when it's literally not worth it. So you got this, you need to activate that. As you can see, that has been crossed out now where it said disable motion vectors. So this is uh, Intel's frame generation that. So I was, I was getting 175 but OBS literally it usually knocks about 10 fps off depending on the game so yeah that looks pretty good so that is another option for AMD or even Nvidia now so I mean if if it's not in the game possibly you could it depends on every game but so this one this is a streamlined way for using I think Alan Wake 2 is another one where you can use this, which is really good for the streamline. So, yeah, I mean, this is just improving all the time, as I said. I mean, for me, 2x is more than enough. I don't see what's so great about 3x or 4x. And you get the extra motion blur. Yeah, I mean, I could easily use um, these as well, because it just gives you more options. Uh, but AMD, as I said, they're going to bring out their AI frame generation end of the year. So it was looking really good, I think, for PC gaming. And this mod is just brilliant. I can't praise it enough. That's it for me. So thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next one.